Kyle Busch, what a day he's had. Can he make it all the way? We got it. Oh, yeah. Kyle Busch is going to win at Pocono. Nice work, fellas. Seven-time winner, Denny Hamlin does it again. Great job, team. Good work. Both first 11, Denny Hamlin and the 18 of Kyle Busch been DQ'd. The final results have been changed. Handing the win to Chase Elliott. Denny Hamlin wins the highpoint.com 400. The team is happy. Denny is happy. The crowd might not be. It's official. Denny Hamlin is the all-time winningest driver at the Pocono Raceway. As we look here at the schedule for this weekend's Cup events at Pocono Raceway, I can't help but think there's only six races left in the regular season. Some of these teams that are trying to punch their ticket into the playoffs are going to have to start mm -hmm. Saturday at practice at Pocono. Yeah, we saw that winner reel from Pocono Raceway. Kyle Busch, a winner at Pocono, a multi-time winner. They are having a slump of a season. They really need to pick things up before the playoffs. And as we look at those six races before the playoffs, the tracks, very, very different. Yeah, one thing that I look at here is there's always seems to be some sort of strategy that can have a surprise winner. We won our first race with Ryan Blaney mm -hmm, here in the 21. I remember that. Yeah, Wood Brothers 90, 99th victory is one of the, my favorite wins. But also, you know, we've seen Chris Boucher here win before. We've seen rain short races. We've seen fuel mileage. So this is a place that really can throw a wrench uh, for the playoff drivers or the guys right on the yeah. bubble. The other thing is it's going to be a good view of what it's going to be the week after okay. Indy because with those races being back-to-back, -back, they're uh, really similar.